Royal Jordanian Airlines is set to resume direct flights to Damascus after almost 10 years. The National Jordanian Airline halted all flights to the Syrian capital and the city of Aleppo in 2012 at the height of the Syrian civil war, citing security concerns. It's the latest sign of thawing relations between the two neighbors after Jordan last week reopened its main border crossing with Syria, once again allowing the flow of goods between the two countries. The security situation on the Syrian side is now stable, according to sources, and we hope it remains stable. This was the reason behind the last closure of the Jordanian-Syrian borders. For us Jordanians, we consider this crossing like the lifeblood of Jordan, as it is for the Syrians. So we consider the opening of the crossing a very great thing, thanks to the efforts of the Syrian and Jordanian governments. On Sunday, Jordan's King Abdullah spoke with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad on the phone, marking the first communication between the two leaders since the beginning of the conflict. A statement from the Jordanian palace said the two discussed relations between the two brotherly countries and ways of enhancing cooperation. Jordan and Syria have been engaged in a series of high-profile meetings between officials in recent weeks on economic cooperation, opening the door for other Arab states to gradually resume ties with Syria. Arab nations cut ties with Syria during the civil war, which the United Nations says killed at least 350,000 people. But as the Syrian President Assad has recovered almost all of Syria, and the war seemingly at an end, Arab states have begun a push to reintegrate a country they shunned throughout the decade-long war. Egypt has reportedly pledged to work towards seeing Syria reinstated in the Arab League, 10 years after it was suspended over the Assad regime's suppression of protesters. Yet while Arab states have been slowly working towards rebuilding ties with Syria's Assad, the Western world has so far resisted opening the door. The U.S. has been urged by its ally Jordan, as well as Lebanon, to ease sanctions on Syria. After the Jordanian crossing was reopened last week, the U.S. insisted again it had no plans to normalize or upgrade diplomatic relations with Syria. Remaining adamant, it will not accept the legitimacy of the Assad regime, citing atrocities inflicted by the government during the years of fighting. This is a satanic uh, uh, concept to impose sanctions on other nations. In Syria, the influence is devastating. It is affecting all aspects of daily life. They are mixing the human with the political, and I do believe those people who impose sanctions on peoples are inhuman. Blaming Western sanctions for its economic troubles, the Syrian government hopes re-establishing economic links with Jordan will help speed up the country's recovery bringing in much-needed foreign currency in the process, and that other Arab states will follow suit.